Hey, your black world. Hey, breaking brown family. Let me just let me just speak to one issue really, really quickly. Um, I know by now you all have seen the the viral video uh, of the of the student um, at a uh, Spring Valley High School who was attacked uh, by this uh, resource officer. And one of the things that I keep hearing after the incident, um, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of conversation as as to what should happen to the officer, as to whether he should be fired. And I think I think he should not only be fired but but prosecuted. But in regards to the reporting, the reporting on this issue, you know, I, I put up a Facebook post last night, and you, those of you who follow me on Facebook, know that um, I put up a post about you know Don Lemon, who was basically like, you know, we we have to find out what actually happened. We ha as if. You know, the, the, the only thing that you could tell me in terms of what could have happened that would have that would have made me think that this officer um, was 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 justified in taking the action that he took would be if you had showed me that this young lady had a gun and was pointing it at the officer at the time that this happened. As it turns out, this was all over a phone. Um, she basically took the phone out for a few seconds, according to a classmate, um, and put it right back. And she didn't want to go to the administrator um, because of that. And she basically begged, this is according to stuff at breakingbrown.com, this is according to a classmate. She basically begged um, the, the, the teacher, you know, not to call the administrator. Okay, and, and, and that's why she didn't want to go. And she told the police officer, I haven't done anything wrong. But we saw a report um, from 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 Don Lemon where he said, well, you, you have to basically give the, the, the cop the benefit of the doubt. Now, this isn't good reporting because there's something um, about justifiable force. There's a continuum that police are supposed to use in terms of what force is necessary. And any and any reporter worth a damn would, would know that. But, you know, I've seen this this thing come across about a petition, you know, that there should be a, a, a petition to get rid of Don Lemon. And let me just say this. You don't need a petition to get rid of Don Lemon. The only thing you have to do to get rid of CNN's Don Lemon is basically stop talking to him. That's all you have to do. When he comes to the black community, whether it was Ferguson or Baltimore, and you stop talking to him, if every time Don Lemon puts a microphone in a black person's face and they walk away, it's over for him. He can't do anything. If every time he reaches out to a black person for comment after something happens and the producer calls and says they're from Dunn Lemon Show or Dunn Lemon Segment or inviting them on and we say no, it's over with. Like the, the, the CNN isn't going to keep him if he can't effectively do his job. And it, the way that you ensure that that happens is that you just stop talking to him. That's all you have to do. Nobody, everybody should get a scoop over Don Lemon. I don't care whether, if, if MSNBC calls you asking you a question and CNN calls you from the Don Lemon show or from, for, for a segment for the Don Lemon show, you should opt for, opt for MSNBC. Send your statement elsewhere. If you're going to make a statement, if you are the attorney who is working for um, a, a family or, or, or if you are working for um, someone who's been brutalized by a police officer, make sure that someone else get that, gets that scoop. Make sure that Don Lemon is not the person who gets that scoop. That's what you have to do. If we do that, if we just shut Don Lemon out, you don't have to worry about Don Lemon anymore because CNN doesn't care about Don Lemon. CNN cares about ratings and scoops get ratings. Having the first comment gets ratings. Get, you know, talking to the family. I saw that, you know, Don Lemon talked to the family of the girl, um, the young lady who was abused by that police officer, you know, and I wish they hadn't because he was the same one, you know, he was the same one basically saying that we should wait and see. And we, we don't know, maybe this officer had a reason to, to, to throw this, to, to, to scoop this girl up out her chair and drag her across the room like an MMA fighter. So I want to say you don't need a petition to, to get rid of Don Lemon. The only thing you need to do to get rid of Don Lemon is make it to where he can't really effectively do his job. At least he can't do it in the black community. Once you do that, his days are numbered.